We are scouring the globe looking for the highest return we can get on cash flow properties. Carrie, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV, guys. I'm your host, James Wise, and this, folks, this is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, me and you, and we try to find you guys the highest cash flow properties we can get, right? We scour, we scour the globe, right? Typically, we do a lot of stuff here in the Cleveland market because my team is able to handle operations for you top to bottom. We'll help you find the properties. I'll analyze the properties. We'll help you buy the properties. We'll represent you as your broker. We will provide you with property management, rehab services. We even have title and insurance for you. So anything you guys need to do in the Cleveland market, we'll take care of you. We also have um, referrals to other turnkey companies that run similar operations in other markets such as Birmingham, Alabama, Indianapolis, uh, Kansas City, right? All the high-end cash flow markets in the, in the country, right? In the United States of America, all those big-time cash flow markets that you hear folks talking about. We've got access to top to, bo top to bottom solutions for you guys, right? And my, uh, <clears throat> my first property today for you, Carrie, is a property you are interested in. 3255 West 56 Cleveland, 44102. Carrie, this is a property that you sent to me. You're very interested in this particular property. You saw that it recently just came back on the market. You wanted me to talk to the seller, get some inside information for you, which I have done, my man. Uh, we've actually already analyzed this uh, in the past for another client. We were interested in looking at this. Um, so first, I want you to take a look at that footage. 3255 West 56, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Now this one just listed seven days ago, okay? Company called Team Results Realty. Now this one is a completed project of what the first one could be, right? They listed this at $68,900. It currently has one tenant already on the Section 8 program, right? I told you about 1000 bucks a month is our rental budget. Well, this is, uh, you know, proof in the pudding, right? They've already got a Section 8 tenant in there. And Section 8, you know, every time Section 8 has to come out, they, they give you a rental offer. So the numbers are going to be different on every single property. And we are very, very close, right? They gave this one 976. So this has a Section 8 tenant in there at 976. So that's $11,712 a year in the house we're going to look at the pictures beautiful house you're on the section eight so i anticipate this being like a longer term tenant and the neighborhood is only going to go up in my opinion what does this bad boy look like well dude this is exactly what i want you to do that first one you see we got all the nice gray walls we got the white trim just looking beautiful but you know painting the walls and doing the trim and the nice fresh carpet that stuff that's gonna have to be replaced between tenants, but where you're going to really get your bang for the buck and your bang for your buck rather. And then you're really going to get those long-term tenants is in the kitchens and the baths, man. Look at this kitchen. See how modern and bright and fresh the kitchen is compared to the last kitchen. This is how you get those nice high quality tenants in there that are on the section eight program. They move into your property and they don't want to move their family out of your property, right? We're not going to make a ton of money by renting a property for 25 bucks more here or there. Where we're going to make our money in these neighborhoods is by moving a family in and keeping them there for two, three, four, five, six, seven years, right? Because every time these folks move out, dude, if we got carpet in these units, we're replacing that carpet. You think just because we paint it gray one time, we're not going to have to do it again. No, when these people are moving out, furniture's hitting the walls, people are you know running into walls, kids doing this or that, that's where our returns are getting eaten up. It's on these turnovers. So you make a home nice and beautiful like this. You do the kitchens and the baths. You completely update them, and you're going to get people that are going to want to stay, and they're not going to want to move because, look, dude, looking at this bathroom – 
looking at this bathroom compared to the previous house's bathroom or this kitchen compared to the previous house's kitchen, I mean, it's fairly obvious what these tenants are going to want. So this is what we're going to want to make your, your whole portfolio needs to look like this, right? And we just put these Section 8 tenants in there and, you know, it's not going to be a set it and forget it kind of thing. There's still going to be bumps in the road, but these are the kind of things that we need to do to harden this, to keep your portfolio churning along on a consistent basis. In addition to this house, you know, everything was done. Roof, furnace, hot water tank, everything, right? So running the numbers on that, we bring in 976, you know, your normal stuff. We're still going to calculate for repairs and maintenance, vacancy, and, and non-payment, and CapEx. But the cool thing about the CapEx, man, everything is brand new in this one, and it's very new in the other one, too. So, like, we're still going to put 48 bucks in your pocket every month anticipating that. But hey, man, you got a brand new furnace. So you're not going to worry about that $3,000 bill for 30 years. You got a brand new hot water tank. You don't really need to worry about that $1,000 bill to replace that for another 15 years. The roof also going to last 30 years, probably like a $5,000 roof on this. So the fact that these things are all done for you, that's great. But we're still going to put the money in your pocket because we know that those replacements are coming, right? Now, taxes. This is something... Um, I really want to talk to you about the taxes. Let's go to the remarks. Now, what the listing agent said, no showings until offer received. Make offer contingent on viewing and home inspection. Monthly Section 8 tenant pays set, <clears throat> I'm sorry, monthly Section 8 rent, 976. Monthly taxes only, $32. Tenant pays gas and electric. Owner will help with property management transition and or put in contact with quality property management company. Well, you don't worry, need to worry about that. You got Holt Wise. We'll be able to take over your property management. What I really want to talk to you about is what they said. Monthly tax is only $32. You might be like, whoa, what's up? And that is true. Right now, currently, the taxes on this property are $32 a month. They are $384 a year. Now, the reason that that is like that is because the tax appraised value on this house is so low. That's going to change. Okay. So I don't know if the listing agent isn't aware of that, um, but what had happened, unique situation. The current owner of this property bought this during the last recession. Okay. Over 10 years ago, the last recession, or just approximately 10 years ago, maybe like eight to 10 years ago is when they bought this. I'm not hundred percent sure. I, I don't remember. I looked it up earlier and made myself a note, but they bought this during the last recession when it was just a shell of a house. They bought it for $7,000 and the county has not come in and reappraised it. When you actually purchase this property, they're going to do that. And then you're going to have to pay the same tax rate. Tax rate's the same. It's a uh, Cleveland proper. So it's 2.79% of the value of the property. Okay. So them advertising it to you like, oh, dude, you're only going to have to pay $32 a month in taxes. No, not going to happen, dude. They're going to reappraise it based on the new purchase price. And what should that purchase price be? In my opinion, since you're coming in, uh, strong offer, paying cash, I think we could pick it up for $62,000. Now, if we pick this thing up for you for $62,000, totally turnkey, no rentals, it's going to, of course, get reappraised. It's not going to be valued at $7,000 by the county anymore when you just bought it for $62,000, right? I mean, that, that just don't pencil out. So the taxes, in my guesstimate, should go up. So they should end up being about $148 a month, which is $17.85 a year. And then, of course, you got your insurance, water, sewer, lawn care is going to be free because the tenants are going to handle it. Property management, 100 bones to us. So your total expenses should run you on average 527. So this one, NOI 449 a month or 5,388. So that's an 8.7 cap. And just uh, for a little bit of education for my folks out there, Angus, I know you're not uh, going to go in and buy this with a loan right now. You're going to be doing your refinance and a big blanket refinance down the road with the rest of your portfolio. But just so you guys are aware, if you guys do see, you know, other folks who are watching Angus's video right now on Hope Wise TV, when I released it, probably 60 to 90 days after Angus has already saw this, because I don't release these till the dust is settled and the deals are done. So if you guys are watching this right now, this ain't live. Me and Angus, we talked about this back in the day, and we probably did this deal. Uh, but this is just education for you guys so you can see what it's like to work with us and the type of deals that are out here. If you went in and you were to do a deal just like this with our team and you were to finance it right up front, you need to put down $16,000. You get a $48,000 mortgage. 
after you paid off your mortgage. With our average NOI, you'd be receiving 247 a month on average. So you'd make almost three Gs a year. And with your small amount of cash into the deal, you're, you're only putting in 16,000. That's an 18 and a half percent. So those were my thoughts on the property at that time. What ended up happening is when we submitted our offer, the seller had already accepted another offer, went under contract with another buyer, somebody I was not involved in. And uh, then, you know, that my other client, he moved on, so he's no longer in the picture. Nothing for you to worry about. So where we're at today, you noticed that the property just came back on the market, right? Pending the active, it's back on the market. I talked to the seller. You wanted to know what was going down with the property. From what the seller told me, I had nothing to do with the inspection or anything of that nature. I managed to get us an inspection report. I told the guy, I said, hey, man, you provide me with your third-party inspection report from the previous client, and if my guy wants to do an offer, we could probably get you an as-is offer, which, of course, uh, he's very excited to get one because he's got a tenant in there, man. It's really, you know, it's a pain in the butt trying to bother these tenants all the time, especially for something that's already been done. Now, as far as why that... Uh, before I get ahead of myself, why you know the previous deal fell apart? He told me that uh, just at the last minute, the buyer just flaked, got cold feet, and backed out. Which you know, doing this as long as I've done it, uh, dealing with investors, guys, that is a fucking pain in the ass. But it does happen. So uh, I have no way to verify if what uh, the seller is telling me is true. But just based upon my experience selling over two hundred million dollars of real estate to real estate investors out there, I will tell you that I believe him because that shit does happen, and it it, it drives drives everybody nuts but uh there are folks out there that just flake um so we could assume you know if you know i assume he's telling the truth right and as far as the inspection report goes he did that he did provide that to me and this is a solid inspection report carrie and we'll we'll be able to email this to you right my team will get you the the full pdf so you can go over it but this is a good report now it's it's a it's a large report and, you know, when I, re when, I, when I analyzed the property for my previous client, right, I said, dude, I think 62000 is the correct price, right? It's, it's a turnkey asset. It's in great condition. But then you might read this report and you see all these pages and pages and pages of things that are being cited. Like right here, just on this particular page, right? Uh, trees and sh shrubs, minor concern, porch deck, safety hazard, driveway, safety hazard. Like you might see these like just little minor things here and uh you might be like oh well you thought sixty two thousand was the right price um at that point but now we got this inspection report and we have a minor safety hazard with and then we got these trees in the shrubs that's that's, that's like not how it works man that's not how uh these things go down right i i get investors all the time that they think that and uh, they think that like the property is, like, when I analyze it, the property is supposed to be perfect, and they're supposed to get this, like, clear inspection report. Guys, let me break this down for you. You ain't never going to get a clear inspection report. New construction houses are going to have pages of things that the inspector is going to cite. When I analyze these properties, and, and, and I give you guys these target prices, like, I know there's going to be pages upon pages of minor stuff. And, like... Particular properties, especially a property like this. This is a hundred year old house that, you know, we're talking about picking up in the sixty thousand dollar range, man. Like, you know, my SUV costs more than this particular house does. So you ain't ever getting a hundred year old property that's never gonna have stuff. When we do these inspection reports, what we're looking for is huge big ticket items that are outside of what I would generally expect, like little cracks on this driveway, it doesn't really matter. That doesn't change the fact that I think this property, you're going to need to pay $62,000 to take it down, okay? We're looking for, like, main huge things, like if we find, a, like, a major structural problem, things of that nature, okay? Like, another thing I wanted to bring to your attention that I saw in here, like electrical system right here. People get a little nervous, right? We got some electrical issues. People, you know, freak out. Like, dude, all they're talking about is just a GFCI issue. This is, like, you know nominal tiny tiny little stuff right if the the next section eight inspection they, they may cite it if they don't it's not a big deal my team can go out there and we can fix that kind of stuff that's the kind of like small things that we pick up on the the safety checks and uh things of that nature so 
you know, all these things that you see on this report when you're reviewing this report, man. I don't want you freaking out and thinking like, you know, I think the value is different because based upon my conversation with that seller and where he's at and the fact that last time we put in our offer, somebody had already put in our contract. I would say if, if, if you want to pick this up, you're going to need to pay uh, 62 G's at least, right? I think that'd be like ideal, but you may have to pay a little more. I mean, this is a nice property. It's already got the tenant in there. I mean, I ran the numbers. You can't really get cash flow better than this. Ah, here, this is what I was looking for though, right? This is a, this is kind of a problem though, right? This is an issue. I don't necessarily think this changes the value of the property, but uh, we got some issues with the chimney, right? Water is leaking in where the chimney is, and we see this inside. This is definitely something we need to address. Do I think uh, you could pick the property up for less than 62000 because of this? Probably not. But when we present our $62,000 offer to the seller, if that's what you want to do, you know, I could weigh heavily on this type of stuff and be like, look, dude, you got issues. This is why you should take 62K, but I don't think it's feasible to tell you you're going to get it for less than 62K. But like that issue right there, what's going to happen is we're going to need to have my team go out there, get up on the roof and, you know, seal up that chimney, right? Seal up where the water's leaking because that's a big issue. You never, ever, ever want to have water coming in, right? Water is just going to cause you, you know, major issues down the line. All right, so that is pretty much everything on this particular property. I still like the property. Uh, after seeing the inspection report, I actually like it a little bit more. Now, again, don't freak out because you're going to have a lengthy inspection report to review. But, you know, you and I have gone through several inspection reports together now. And I think uh, you'll agree with me that this is probably one of the nicest inspection reports. So it's really just all about setting expectations and making you guys aware that there ain't no scenario where you guys are buying houses that are 100 years old and that are cheaper than our cars that are going to be perfect. At no point in time will you ever, 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 ever have a perfect property, guys. So I know this. I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. I keep this all in mind when I give you these best case scenario valuations. So that's that property. Quickly, let's go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into a multifamily property that I found for you. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, Carrie, welcome back, man. Let's get into the second one, right? This one I found for you because you sent me uh, another email. You're like, hey, man, I've seen a couple shows you did. You were very interested in show 80, uh, some high cash flow duplexes, the Metro Health uh, neighborhood. You know, that's a great, solid neighborhood, man. I love it. It's higher risk right now, okay, but I think it's the best D-class neighborhood uh, that you can invest in the Cleveland market because of the billion dollars coming into that neighborhood from Metro Health. In addition, you're right just south of Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater, things like that. So I love this neighborhood. I think we can really mix in 
cash flow and potential appreciation. And this property, man, this is a cash cow, okay? You were hoping, right, what you wanted. You wanted to get a bunch of cash flow, right? You wanted to max out the cash flow, had no problem going Section 8 tenants. And you also tasked me to find you something that was either partially or fully occupied because you don't want to put a bunch of cash into this particular investment outside of your down payment. So I delivered, brother. 2904 Daisy, Cleveland, 44109. Been on the market for a little over a month, $74,900. Man, let's take a look at these photos, right? So just, you know, typical rental kitchen, nothing that's going to knock your socks off, okay? The tenants, this is fully occupied. Both tenants are in there, so no immediate repairs to get it occupied, like, we got a bunch of stuff, you know, in both of the units. But, hey, man, th that's the rental game, right? You don't want to uh, worry about that type of stuff. Like, any type tenants are moving in and out, man, you're going to have to redo. You're going to have to do turnover renovations. Like, don't think that you could buy properties like this, and then when people move out, you just come in there with a fucking vacuum, and then you move new people in. It don't work that way, brother. But, it, uh, you know, outside of that, Pretty much right off the rip, though. Nothing we got to do, man. You make money from day one because of the rent roll here, dude. Both units, 2-1, which was on your uh, it was on your checklist to me, right? You were hoping to get two beds in each unit, right? One tenant paying 600 the other 650 So 1250 comes in. Of that 1250 brother, running the normal numbers. You and I have been through this many, many times, so I'm not going to take up a bunch of your time here going through uh, every single thing on here. So $12.50 scheduled to come in. We're anticipating $7.30 going out on average every month. That don't mean it's every single month $7.30 goes out, right? Especially things like our repairs and maintenance, our vacancy and non-payment, and our CapEx, right? All three of those line items I've estimated at $62. Bucks. Those are... Things that are not going to be small $62 monthly charges, those are things that are going to be a shit ton of zeros, and then we're going to see some big stuff, right? Like this roof. Roofs last 30 years, okay, when you replace a roof. You're looking at like probably this roof, I would say like 6 Gs. Repairs and maintenance, I told you, man, those, those units, they look a little worn. When those tenants move out, you're going to have to do some work to the units, right? You're going to have to spend a few grand turning it over. So that's like where your repairs and maintenance come in, right? And then, of course, your vacancy and non-payment, same thing. When it's empty, you ain't getting no rent. And, hey, man, this is real estate investing. This is D-class neighborhood right here. Uh, we're going to evict people, right? You can't invest, uh, you know, in these types of properties and anticipate you ain't ever going to evict people. <laughs> that ain't part of the game. And anybody out there that's uh, new to this show, new to Holton Weiss TV, you don't understand uh, what you're getting into just yet. Yeah, I want you to, to, I put it in the show notes below. I want you to check out the Tenants from Hell show, man. That show is our most popular show here on Holtwise TV. And we ain't selling you nothing in that show. We're just showing you fucked up shit, right? Because fucked up shit happens in this game, okay? Um, this is a brutal industry, man. It's tough. It's rough. And I hate, uh, you know, I hate uh, a lot of the people out there on the internet that they just like make you believe that you invest in real estate and all of a sudden you get a Lambo and like a bunch of hot chicks and bikinis or something like that, dude. That ain't the business, right? Uh, the business of being a landlord, the business of being a real estate investor, it's tough, it's rough. And uh, that is like the number one priority of Holton Weiss TV. It's to provide you guys with a transparent look at this business. Yeah, we're here to sell you stuff. I'm here to make money. I sold over $200 million of real estate, man. That's what I do. Uh, but the reason I'm so successful at selling all this real estate, because I, I, I cut you straight, man. I, I explain exactly what we're going to do. I explain the types of tenants you're going to deal with. And, you know, we tell you how we're going to handle the situations. If you're talking to a property manager or a turnkey company or anybody like that, and they're telling you, hey, you buy with us, you buy through us, you invest with us, there's going to be no problems. There's going to be no issues, man. Fuck that. That's a big red flag. You need to walk the other way run the other way because anybody telling you there's not going to be bumps in the road and issues with the property management industry they are either lying to you or they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about because this is a brutal game man so check out that show so with all that in mind carry bro 
1250 comes in. On average, 730 goes out, leaving us with an NOI of 520. As far as price, I think 74,000 is a little bit too high. I think we could do better. Okay, this is listed by a company called Local. I've worked with uh, these folks. I've actually worked with the listing agent on many deals. Uh, we have very good rapport. I believe, especially because it was pending, it just came back on the market. Uh, you know, they really want to. You know, maybe they really want to get get things done here. I believe we could come in. He knows my clients are strong. My offers are strong. We close. I would love to pick this up for you for sixty, sixty thousand dollars. Now that's gonna be best case scenario. I can't guarantee that. You know, if you had to pay like sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, it's still a good price. I don't really necessarily want to see you pay list. I don't think you need to pay list for this particular property. I'd like you to get it in the sixties. If we pick it up at sixty, dude, it's gonna be a ten. Point four cap, which is great. And then, of course, you want to finance it, so you're only going to need 15 Gs into the deal. That leaves us with a 26% cash-on-cash return. Now, I have not been able to review an inspection report, but again, when you get the inspection report, just like the previous property, man, we're looking for major, major, major issues, right? Do not expect to get a perfect inspection report on this property. It ain't going to happen, dude. This thing is over 100 years old. You ain't getting a, a beautiful inspection report. We're looking for major issues that make the properties uninhabitable. Now, we may be able to negotiate a few bucks off uh, by just leveraging what we find and you know playing the game a little bit, right, this guy? He's a seasoned agent. He's been doing this a long time. He understands uh, the game, right? We really try to leverage these reports to get you guys some money off. So we may be able to get a little bit, but I just really want to, you know, set those expectations for you for what you're looking for because uh, you ain't ever getting uh, a totally clear report, brother. So with that said, 60K would be best case scenario for this property. And I still think 62000 should be the target price for the previous property that you're interested in. So let my team know what you want to do. Um, you know, of course, just reply to the email. Again, the St. Me and Use First Rodeo, so you know the gig. And uh, we will try to knock these out for you. Everybody else, if you're watching this right now and you're like, hey, man, this seems like uh, pretty legit. I'm interested in getting started. I would like to invest in real estate. What I want you to do, I want you to go to HoltonWise.com. All right. Click the uh, property search for sale tab. There's a couple different ways you can uh, work with us, right? The first way, the investment properties for sale show. It's another show we have here on Holton Wise TV. Uh, we are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. I've said it a few times. I'm going to say it one more time. I've sold over $200 million of this stuff, okay? That's a lot of properties, guys. We're talking like $50,000 houses, right? So do the math. you got to sell a lot of $50,000 houses to get up to $200 million in sales. So you click this show, and you're going to get a video tour sent to you every single day, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With the properties we are selling, all the information you need to make a buying decision is going to be right there. You could just bid right off the show. That's one way to buy from us. The second way is uh, what you're watching right now, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Okay, You click this thing, and you're going to be able to work with us just like Carrie is working with us. Okay, What this is is we work for you on your behalf all right we have many packages available you could do one property you could do the 10 property package which i think is the best deal and essentially you either send us properties that you saw from other sources or you just tell us your budget your wants your needs what you're trying to accomplish what your risk tolerance is things like that we'll get with you and ask you a bunch of questions about yourself and we will work for you on your behalf. We don't work for the seller. Our job is to make you as much money as humanly possible. We're not looking for win-wins here, okay? We're trying to extract as much money out of those sellers as humanly possible so we can put it in your pocket. That's what you're paying us for. So that's the second way you could work with us, okay? And then just one more thing I want to show you real quick. You could also click here. Click that bad boy. This is my direct broker, MLS Access. So if you want my access to the Cleveland area MLS, uh, I have sorted, pre-sorted things down for you. So if you're an investor that wants multifamily and you like C-class as far as your risk level, I got that for you. As soon as those hit the market, you get an email automatically. You'll get it days before like Zillow or Trulia. And it's already pre-sorted. It's ready to go. You could just make offers right off of that directly through the seller. Or again, you could work with us. 
Uh, we also have things like seller financing, right? Seller finance deals. We got the seller financed inventory right there, pre-sorted for you, sent out to you. We also have flips, right? People looking for flips. We got the distressed inventory, right? The bank owns, the HUD deals, all that jazz. So those are available for you. Those are cheap, man. Start at 30 bucks, go up to 50 bucks. We are an a la carte service here, guys. Holton Wise is all about making real estate investing easy for you guys. You can work with us in several different ways. It, it's all about how much you want out of us. Uh, if you just want a few things out of us, we got it. If you want the full shebang, we can do everything top to bottom. So that's what we do, guys. So if you want to work with us like Carrie is, that's how you do it. That's all I got for today. As always, I am James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.